Welcome everyone! In this lesson we are going to cover lazy loading and services. We are going to see how should we configure our services in the case that we have a shared module that is used in both the root application or one of its synchronously loaded feature modules and other modules that are lazy loaded. It's coming right up. Let's first understand the problem that we are trying to solve. So take a look at this simple example, the lesson service. This is a simple service, we are just going to log a message to the console in its constructor. We are going to take this service and we are going to add it to the providers of both our lazy loaded module, the courses module, and to our root application as well. The lesson service, like most services but not all, is meant to be an application-wide singleton. This is probably the most common use case for a service. So we are going to use this service in multiple places of our application. Let's inject it in the courses component and also in the main component of our application. If we now try this out, we are going to receive an error in the console no provider for lesson service. This means that we have not configured the dependency injection system to be able to inject the lesson service in the application. Because the lesson service is shared by both the application root module and the lazy loaded course module, we are going to add it to the providers of the shared module. If we now try this out, we are going to see something that can be quite surprising. At initial application startup time, we have the creation of one instance of the singleton lesson service, as expected. But take a look at what happens if we now click on the courses menu, triggering the loading of the courses module. What happens is that we have two more instances of lesson service created. So what is going on here? Because lesson service is supposed to be an application wide singleton. So why two instances? One instance comes from the fact that we have added lesson service to the providers of course module. And the second instance comes from the shared module, which we have imported into the courses module. In order to fix this, we need to understand what's going on here. Whenever we lazy load a module, what Angular will do is it will create a dependency injection subcontext for that particular module, which is a shelled context of the root dependency injection module. So in a lazy loaded module with providers, the services inside those providers are only visible to the module itself. This is unlike when we import a feature module not via lazy loading. In that case, the services will be injected in a global dependency injection pool. Why does this happen? Why is the dependency injection behavior different for the case of lazy loaded modules? There is a good reason for that. Imagine that the lesson service implementation used by the main application is actually a completely different implementation than the lesson service used by the lazy loaded module. Those might be two different versions of the same service, for example. When we lazy load a module, we want to make sure that none of the services that it brings overwrite anything in the main application. Otherwise, we might fall into very hard to troubleshoot error situations, where the behavior of our application is dependent upon the sequence of navigation actions that triggered lazy loadable modules. The first thing that we need to do to fix this issue is to remove lesson service from the list of providers of the shared module. We are going to create a static for root method that is going to return a module with providers object. So the ng module property is the module itself with all its component definitions. And here we give the providers that are associated to the module. So if someone simply imports the shared module, it would not receive the lesson service. So how can the main module still have access to the lesson service? Well, instead of importing shared module, we now need to call shared module.forroot. 
This means that the application module will see all the components of the shared module and the lesson service will still be instantiated and added to the global dependency injection pool, just like before. The difference is that now, whenever we import the shared module into the courses module, which is being lazy loaded, a duplicate instance of lesson service will not be created but courses module will still see the components of the shared module. One last thing, let's remove this declaration of lesson service from the providers list as well. If we now try this out, we will see that we still have only one instance of lesson service being created at application startup time. But if we now select the courses menu, we are going to trigger the lazy loading of the courses module we can see that no more instances of lesson service were created. And this is the behavior that we intended, meaning that lesson service is an application-wide singleton. It's the same instance that gets used in our main application module, in any feature module that is synchronously loaded, and also in any module that gets lazy loaded. And so this covers lazy loading and the router. As we can see, it's a very useful feature for improving the performance of large applications and it's very simple to configure in the router. We are now going to go over an exercise to put several of the concepts of routing together. It's coming right up in the next lesson.